Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing solving simple equations. This is a worksheet from mathdrills.com. There will be a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Anyway, this is kind of a basic worksheet, but it can be a lot more difficult than just simple as it describes here. It can be kind of complex. So let's try to break it down first. If this is your first time seeing variables, variables are essentially a question mark or a blank. There's a great process in, in doing this. It's algebraic, algebra is dealing with variables and the unknown values, but we're gonna break it down, kind of make it a little bit more simple for you. One of the things you'll need to know is integers. This is a really tricky subject for many students, not just middle school, but high school and some adults even, many adults probably. Um, so let's kind of, this is gonna be the, the main staple that we come back to. I'm actually gonna erase this. We already said variables are the same thing as question marks or blank. I'm gonna get rid of this. We're gonna come back to this because I'm gonna use it later on. Okay, so we're gonna start here. One of the main principles here though is anytime that we are adding something, we are gonna be moving to the right. And anytime we are subtracting, we're gonna be moving to the left because that's the negative direction and that's the positive direction. So anything positive, we move to the right. Anything negative or subtracting, we're gonna to go to the left. So with that in mind, we're gonna do negative two minus h equals negative nine. Now you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin. Well, start with the first thing, okay? So we have, I'm gonna use blue actually. The first number, negative two. So that's gonna be our starting point. And then this last number is our ending point. So we know we're gonna start at negative two, okay? And we're gonna end up at negative nine. That's our end. I should use a box like I did the other one. So this is our box, that's our end point, and this is our starting point. So our starting point, I'm actually using a dot for. I kinda of like that. And then our end point is that negative nine. So how do we go from negative two to negative nine? Obviously we're going to the left, so we know we're subtracting. Well, it tells us we're subtracting. We already knew that. We're no, we already know that we're moving to the left, okay? So the question is, how much is that H worth? How much are we subtracting? Well, this we just need to count. So we go from two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You don't count this first one there, okay? The first time you make the jump, so to three right here, that's when uh, you start counting. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I know that H equals seven. It told me that I was subtracting, so moving to the left. How many units am I moving to the left? I'm moving seven units. And that's all we're doing here, okay? That's what we're doing for this whole worksheet. There's also another way that you can get rid of negative, oops, negative signs, et cetera, using more algebra, multiplying by negative one. I may show that at the end, so if you wanna stick around for the algebraic explanation, do that, I'll do that right at the end. But I'm gonna kind of do it the more basic version for this. Okay, now we have O plus a negative nine equals negative seven. So before we said, that we're starting at this first unit and I'm gonna to stick to it. So this O is gonna be our starting point and then we're gonna end up at negative seven, okay? So I'm gonna box negative seven here, but now you see the problem. Where do I start? I don't know where I start, okay? I have no idea because O is essentially a question mark, but I do know where I move, okay? Now don't be confused. If it says a plus, you're thinking, oh, I move to the right, but if I'm adding a negative, really what I'm doing here Okay, this is a negative nine, is I'm moving to the left. So I start at O, I move to the left, and I end at negative seven, okay? So I'm gonna go here. I know I move to the left. How far do I move? I move, I don't know what happened there. I move nine units to the left, okay? And then I arrive at negative seven. So where is O? O is what we're looking for, okay? So I need to find here, how do I, how do I find it? Well, the key is the nine in the left direction. If I wanna go back and find where we started, then all I need to do is turn this around and actually count nine in the positive direction. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I know O is actually my starting point and it started at positive two. We can check it, okay? We know that we're going nine units to the left because it says minus nine. Okay, plus a negative nine, minus nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I land at negative seven. So O is two because that helps us complete the equation. Okay, that takes us from our starting point to our ending point. And it's two. Let's do a couple more. So let me skip around here. Um, 
actually negative five. Number three actually looks tough. Let's go, let's go one through five and then probably cut it there. And if you need more help, let me know. Okay. So we're going to start number three, our starting point again. And I'm going to try to light, write a little less and a little bit more quick. So be ready to keep up. I start at negative five and I go to negative one. Okay. So I'm going to erase this. I start at negative five and I end up at negative one. So this is my starting point and this is my end point. So how much do I go in between? And I'm, that will be my variable. That will be my unknown value. And I can just count here. So I go one, two, three, four. Which direction did I move? I moved to the right. So that means it needs to be a positive four. Oh, but here's the thing. So technically it's negative five plus four equals negative one. So you're thinking, what the heck? It says minus though. So what do I do? Well, anytime you see a minus and you need to move to the right, really what it is is a minus minus. So this is a tough one. I'm glad this came up, but really it's negative five minus minus four equals negative one. Okay. Anytime I forgot to mention this, but I've seen this, I've said this in other videos. Anytime we have minus minus, really what that is, is it looks like that most of the time. And then it looks like when you have this set up, you're going to complete it and you're going to make that into a plus sign. So anytime you have minus minus, really it's plus. Think of it as if you're going in the negative direction and then you go in the negative direction again, you're turning around. So what is our value of D? Our value for D is negative four. Negative four is equal to D. So negative five minus a negative four is going to take us to negative one. That's actually a pretty tough problem. It starts us right, right away. But again, if we're moving to the right, and we want to use minus to get there, we have to have two minuses to equal a plus. Okay, so that was a tough one. Glad we encountered it early on so you can have that question. And then we have negative seven minus. Again, we're starting at a negative, okay? Negative seven, and we're getting to negative one. We need to move to the right. So let me show you. I think we're moving to negative one. Is that what I said? Negative one, yes. Okay, so we have negative seven here. Let me erase, 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 erase. Negative seven here is our starting point. We're getting to negative one. We have to move to the right. We're moving one, two, three, four, five, six units to the right. So it should say, it should say negative seven plus six equals negative one, but it doesn't. It says minus. So we need to say negative seven minus minus six equals negative one. So we know E is equal to negative six. I'm going to do one more, then I'm going to show you the algebraic way. And you, if you're good and you want to move on and don't want to see the algebraic way, that's great. Okay. Have a great day. I have no qualm with that. This is for you. Okay. So get the help that you need. So Z plus negative one equals zero. We're going to end up at zero. That's our starting point. And no, that's our end point. Sorry. We end up at zero. Okay, we don't know where we start, but we do know that we go one unit to the left. Okay, so that's Z plus a negative one. That means a negative one. So we're going to move one unit to the left. So if we're going to move one unit to the left to go in opposite direction, we're going to add one unit. We're going to go one unit to the right. So really, we are here. We're at one, and we have one unit to the left. We added a negative one. We move one unit to the left. Okay, so here we have, this is Z. This is, we started at one. So one equals Z because that is where we started, okay? Now, real quick, if we wanna show the algebraic way to do this, what you would do is if you have seven minus I equals negative five, I would subtract seven to both sides and I get negative I equals negative two. And then because I have a negative sign in front, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative one to undo the negative, and I get I equals a positive two. I think that's the easy way to do it, but I'm sure this is your, if this is your first time, it looks rather complicated. Here for number seven, if I see that I have a adding a negative one there, I wanna do the inverse of that. So that means adding a positive one to both sides. And what you do to one side, you have to do the other. We isolate the R that way, and you get one plus one equals two. Last one, number nine, if you want to do inverse operations, I would subtract five from both sides because that's a positive five. I'd have negative J equals negative two. And then I have to multiply both sides by negative one to isolate J, make it positive, and I get J equals two. Five minus two equals three. That's one way to do this. The number line probably will help you, but this is this can be 
a way more complicated than just it seems. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If, if you have any more questions, make sure to leave a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.